At only 19 years, this certificate holder of short courses in agriculture at Makere University, second born in a family of seven, without someone to call father, Gloria Quinkiriza from Nakasongola district, has made gold out of what her dad left behind after an accident that crushed his life. She is into dairy farming and not just farming, but in a complete dairy production chain. She deals in cattle, sheep and goats. She doesn't employ anyone. She does the work herself, grazing, milking, to making yogurt. I process yogurt and pack it and supply it. In Nakasongola, Nijer and Masind, and I also rare animals like goats, cattle, and sheep. She rears crossbreed cattle. To her, crossbreeds are not laborious and can withstand some diseases as well as the hot weather of Nakasongola district. Nevertheless, she takes care of the animals, just like the exotic breeds are taken care of. Keep the hygiene of the animal. You have to know that your animal is sick and it is on treatment. You're not supposed to milk it. You give it three days milking. You leave it for three days after treating it. And the second thing you have to you have to also know about the health of your animal. Because when it is sick, it will give you little products. It will give you less milk when it is sick. And you have to also mind about the feeding of your animal. You have to feed it clean water and you give it enough food and enough water. To withstand the hot weather conditions, she gives the 200 dairy cows a lot of water. Perhaps this is the only labor demanding exercise she goes through. You have to give them clean water because if you don't give them clean water, fortunately they will get sick. And the, and the next thing you should mind about your animal, you should always know that you have to spray your animals because if you don't spray it, of course it has, to, it has to become sick. So you have to spray your animal, clean the place where you're spraying from. And when, you, when the time of milking comes, you have to make sure your hands are clean. After milking, she is not quick to sell her product. She does extra work to add value to the product. She turns milk into yogurt. When I process 40 liters, I buy a can on 26,000. And I get from it, from the finished yogurt, I get 1,500. 150,000. 150, mm. 50, so it is, there is a difference. These people who don't, who don't add value, they sell their milk cheaply. One liter they sell it 600, and me one liter I sell it 4,000. One liter of yogurt. Gloria reasons that most dairy farmers put their efforts to waste by rushing to sell milk in raw form and that those without cows can as well make money by buying raw milk and add value to it by making either yogurt or butter. To have attitude towards what they want. Personally, I don't want to work for someone. So it is better the little you have, you start your own. Because buying milk is not expensive. <laughs> buying milk that has not been added value, it is not expensive. They buy milk. I encourage them, first thing, to be hardworking because it is not easy, that whole process. Because that whole process, finishing all that process, you get tired. So one thing, you should be focused, you should be hardworking, you encourage yourself, and you say that you can. If others can, then you also can. Of sugar. Although she inherited without any skills to manage a dairy farm, she didn't sell the animals. And now, she earns 300,000 Uganda shillings every week from this inheritance and still with the bigger dreams of making butter in the near future to increase on her income. Kenneth Bwire, WBS Smart Farming.